Hello traders, welcome to marketaddiction.net. Today is Sunday, April 5th, 2009. This video is a recap of um, last Friday's action. Uh, the Dow was up 39 points, the NASDAQ was up 19 points, and the S&P closed up 8 points. Starting off here at the daily chart of the S&P 500. Uh, you can see that we're um, above this 50-day uh, moving average. Um, we have the 10-day pointing up, the 20-day pointing down, or pointing up, and the 50-day pointing down. I've been mentioning this in my last few videos. Um, this shows that we're uh, getting some indecision in the markets, um, whereas uh, back here when the market was declining, they were all stacked nicely. Uh, so that's just something to watch out for. Uh, one of the things I'm looking at is this longer term downtrend line. Uh, it looks like we're um, getting up to uh, test that or pretty close to it. So I'll be watching that to maybe act as some resistance. Looking at the, we're going to the 30 minute chart. Um, pretty much every day last week. Uh, we opened up with a gap in, in, in one direction or another. Um, so it made it made it pretty hard to trade for a swing trader. Because I don't like to trade the gaps in the morning in either directions. I don't like to chase stocks. But looking at this market, uh, we'll go back to the 60 minute chart. Um, it is looking constructive to the bullish side still. Uh, no reason in here yet to look to sell short. Um, the five day moving average is pointing up. Um, we have uh, lower high or higher highs in here rather um, higher highs higher lows so we're still in an uptrend the intermediate term um, even though we may be coming up to this resistance level here on the daily um, so what I'll do is I'll look at the 60 minute 30 minute charts and I'll even uh, go down to the 10 minute chart and look for uh, lower highs and, and lower lows and see if uh, there's any evidence of a trend change on the shorter term time frame but it's still looking good here uh, even on the 10 minute chart uh, we had this little bit of buy-in um, volume come in at the end of the day uh, good volume uh, we close on the highs of the day so uh, we'll see what happens this coming week um, I posted on my blog on Friday intraday uh, about this trend line and I also pointed out that the NASDAQ has actually broken past this uh, resistance level on the daily chart. Um, the Nasdaq's been trading a little different than the S&P and the Dow this year. Uh, this year. Uh, we've had a stronger rally in the in the Nasdaq, and you can see that we have this uh, horizontal resistance level instead of the the downward sloping trend line on the S&P. And on the Nasdaq, we did break through it. Um, I posted that you know looking all the way back at the weekly chart. That actually gives us a um, higher, higher high in here. So I pointed out that we could maybe even eventually come all the way back up to here on the weekly chart. But um, this is just a scenario that I'll kind of have in the back of my mind. I won't necessarily be looking to trade this way because this is this is a very long-term time frame. But um, it is looking constructive here on the bullish side. So um, we'll have to wait and see if the S&P and the Dow follow suit. Uh, generally they do uh, follow the NASDAQ so um, I don't have a whole lot of new stocks on my watch list um, but there are some decent setups if you would like to uh, check those out make sure to visit my, web my website at uh, marketaddiction.net if you're just watching this on YouTube be sure to check out the links on the side stop back and have a great day